Despite over 2,000 recent job cuts at General Motors, the, the Minister of Economic Development and Trade has all but agreed to hand out another $140 million to GM's engine plant St. Catharines. That's on top of the $135 million that they received in 2005. In fact, the Minister said that recent layoffs and losses would have no impact on her decision to dole out more money. I find that unbelievable. To enter so hastily into large agreements with questionable job guarantees and no accountability is not a responsible way to look after taxpayers' hard-earned money. Minister, with this new expenditure, can you guarantee that there will be no more job losses at General Motors in Ontario? For economic Development and Trade. Thank you. Well, let me say this. As I have said repeatedly, that I think any Premier of Ontario must keep in his toolbox all of the tools necessary to make sure we maintain and attract automobile investment in the province of Ontario. <clears throat> I would consider direct investment in appropriate cases to be something you could use and should use because to me what's important for the province of Ontario is that. we attract and maintain that investment. John Tory, your leader. I think you guys need to get it together. Because for your MPP that comes from Oshawa, he knows full well that that plant must be viable and we want it to grow in the future. So you tell me today that if GM makes an application to the province of Ontario, does your colleague from Oshawa support that application? I'm going to wait and hear what that member has to say. Sadly, Mr. Speaker, I'll take that as a no. Um, you know, a lot, of the, a lot of the tools you have in that toolbox are giving this government a lot of skin knuckles when they try to use it. There's no guarantee that General Motors won't take the money and run. I understand the need to partner with industry and to leverage investment, and I value GM as an important Ontario employer. However, there are two ways to support the private sector, the correct way and the liberal way. The correct way is to soberly and frugally assess the situation and to make certain that recipients are upholding their end of the bargain. The Liberal way is to shovel the money out the door to large corporations as fast as they can, regardless of where those corporations are, are extorting from this government. Minister, how can Ontarians trust this government that recklessly spends their hard-earned tax dollars and refuses to be publicly accountable for that money? Thank you, Minister. I think it's important because Minister, the, the MPP from Ottawa said it's extreme from the from Oshawa, and GM is important to this member. He fully supports support to General Motors. I want to, sp to, sp to speak about what Christine Elliott had to say, also from Whitby Asia, a very important region for the automotive sector. I certainly wouldn't dismiss the help out of hand. I think it's important that we be given whatever support they can be given. And I think it's important that we say right now, when the automotive sector is facing challenges in Ontario, this is not the time that we're going to pile on. Not this government that planted its flag in automotive. Not this, not this government that has been so supportive of an industry that has fed this nation for decades. We are having a tough year, and we acknowledge that. But we also know that when it gets tough, that's when the government gets tough too. And we will help to build this automotive sector, and it will be great again. Thank you.